You began as a single cell, a zygote. That single cell divided countless times to create the adult version of you that is now made up of over 30 trillion cells. Each of these cells has a unique purpose to which they are well adapted. Think about it. The cells in your stomach that release acid to break down your breakfast are quite different from the nerve cells that send pain signals to your brain when you bump your elbow on the edge of a table. These trillions of cells can be placed into at least 200 categories, but 70% of them belong to just one group, the red blood cells. We have about 25 trillion red blood cells traveling through the over 60,000 miles of blood vessels that perfuse practically every inch of our bodies. Your red blood cells contain hemoglobin, which has a structure that allows it to cooperatively bind to oxygen molecules, meaning that it is perfectly designed to pick up molecules of oxygen with ease in the lungs and let go of those same molecules when it arrives at the tissues of the body where oxygen is needed. This oxygen is used to make energy through cellular respiration, turning the food that you ate into adenosine triphosphate or ATP, which is the energy molecule that allows you to blink, move around, digest food, grow new humans, and do much more. All of this thanks to a simple inhalation. Oxygen is key to making energy, but this machinery cannot run without fuel. When you eat, Thousands of enzymes come together to cut up your meals into tiny, absorbable fragments which are small enough to enter your cells. Your body isn't just releasing enzymes at random. These enzymes are specific to what you ate. You have some that are for carbohydrates, some for proteins, and some for fats that are basically differently shaped scissors that are meant to cut each unique type of molecule. The hormones that get released after you eat are directly connected to your meal too, and these hormones from the gut get sent up to the brain to tell us either to keep eating or to put the plate aside. Even the parts of your meal that do not get absorbed and enter the bloodstream are put to good use. For this, you can thank the 38 trillion bacteria and other microorganisms that call your colon home. These microbes make necessary nutrients like vitamin B12 and other B vitamins, as well as vitamin K. They also make neurotransmitters such as gamma aminobutyric acid, or GABA, which may play a key role in staving off depression and anxiety symptoms. So yes, the bacteria that live in your gut can affect your mood. As you sleep, you and all your microbial companions shift from daytime mode to nighttime mode. Melatonin levels go up as insulin levels go down and your basal metabolic rate slows down. In the brain, memories are being consolidated and pathways between neurons are being carved out in order to help you retain what you learned and make sense of your ever-changing environment. The food you ate is slowly being transformed into the cells that make up your physical being. You really are what you eat, and you exhale the carbon dioxide waste products that are a natural side effect of all these processes. Breathe in and breathe out. You are alive. You are here. You are the sum of millions of years of evolution that has been given the opportunity to offer the world a piece of you before it is time for your final bow. Love yourself and take care of yourself.